we wanted to mark our disapproval with the Prime Minister Orban's uncoordinated trip to third countries on the issue in particular of the war in Ukraine, which have indeed harmed the indispensable image of unity of the European Union. And to mark this agreement, this um, symbolic gesture um, has been taken. Hungary and the European Union, a coalition of 63 members of the European Parliament, MEPs, has called for Hungary's voting rights to be suspended following a series of controversial diplomatic moves by Prime Minister Viktor Orban, as per various media reports. In a letter reportedly addressed to European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, European Council President Charles Michael, and European Parliament President Roberta Metsola, the MEPs accused Orban of significant damage to the EU's integrity through his independent foreign policy initiatives. The letter was released to the public on Monday and underscores the growing frustration within the EU over Hungary's approach to its role as the Council Presidency. Hungary assumed the rotating presidency of the Council of the EU from Belgium on July 1st. Since then, Orban has undertaken a series of high-profile visits to world leaders in Kyiv, Moscow, Beijing and Washington, claiming to represent the EU in peace negotiations without official authorization from EU institutions. The MEP's letter criticizes Orban for exploiting his presidency to pursue unilateral diplomacy, which they argue undermines the collective decision-making processes of the EU. They assert that Orban's visits, notably to Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping, were conducted without proper coordination with EU partners and misrepresented Hungary's role within the Council. The Hungarian Prime Minister has used the Council presidency to advance personal diplomatic agendas rather than upholding the EU's collective interests, the letter states. This requires real actions, such as suspending Hungary's voting rights in the Council, since practice has shown that mere verbal condemnations of this situation have no effect. Orban's foreign policy efforts have already sparked reactions from within the EU. Reports indicate that some EU foreign ministers are planning to boycott a key foreign affairs summit scheduled to be hosted by Hungary in Budapest on August 28, 29. The summit was intended to address critical international issues, but has become a flashpoint for criticism of Orban's diplomatic approach. I'm both angry and quite sad about the start of the Hungarian presidency, that Mr. Orban went to Putin in Moscow, his insult not only to Ukraine, but to all other 26 member states. And that's uh, what I will tell today in the meeting, of course. And it's also concerning that the Hungarian presidency doesn't put Ukraine as one of the top priorities in their working program. These two things probably connect, uh, and that makes me quite upset. In response to these developments, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell is expected to convene a formal foreign affairs council at the same time as Orban's summit, according to sources familiar with the matter. This move is seen as an attempt to counterbalance the Hungarian-led summit and reaffirm the EU's commitment to a coordinated foreign policy.